everyone, welcome back to Little Nostalgia, the channel where I low dive into all things nostalgic to me and probably to you as well. This is not like a super nostalgic haul, this is just like some fun random things that I picked up and one thing that I am super excited about. I've had my eye on it for a while because I'm weird and obsessive. I'm like an animal where, you know, like a cat or a dog or something where they found something cool once and they like always go back to see if it's there and I finally treated myself. But before we get into this, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And let's get into some of the fun stuff that I found. I'm gonna start with just like the general handhelds cause I feel like that's a theme in all my videos. I always pick up random handhelds and this was no exception. This was a three pack, it had a free cell, which I don't know how to play free cell. And then the World Series of Poker, which I do kind of like how this looks. It almost looks like a Star Trek phaser. And this third one with this giant screen is actually slots. The way this looks, to be honest, this looks like some weird kind of contraption from NASA. We also found two rock band mics. So now we have almost a complete rock band collection. We just need to find some drums and then we will have a complete collection. I'm not sure what these mics go to because they're just USBs. I'll figure it out but it was a cool find because I never see these. It's just like the guitars and you guys will be probably surprised that there are no guitars in this haul at all. That rhymed. I just feel like I've been buying a lot of them recently and in every video you're probably like oh my god she bought more of these effing guitars. It's an addiction. I told you I gotta get these things to good homes. I did randomly stumble across an Xbox 360 Connect, like the little camera that like moves around with it and everything and it was eight dollars which isn't really like that great of a deal but I might bundle with the 360 that I mentioned I have in box just so it's like more of a complete like fun thing to play with and enjoy. Now in a previous video I mentioned that I see a lot of these like leapfrog leap pads all over the place at thrift stores and I have been tinkering around with like fixing electronics and learning more about them and I see these things for really cheap so I did actually pick up I think this is a leapster yeah and then I found some actual cool games a Star Wars and an X-Men game so I was like yeah I'm totally getting these games so my goal with these is to ideally like get these kinds of things working and then donate them to places like libraries or schools or or daycare, somewhere where kids can play with these and get used to using technology. And these can you know, help move their education along because these are great educational tools. It's just sometimes they need a little extra TLC. So this is like a little side project I'm working on that has been kind of on the back burner because I have so many other projects I'm working on. That's why I picked this up initially, not because I'm a huge Leapster video game fan. I'm not even 100% sure if this works. Then we did pick up a couple PS2 games. One is the Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, and then Gran Turismo 3, spec. I don't know. I guess they were decent enough deal for us to be like, yeah, we'll take these. And then the third one actually just had no cover. It has two games in it, which it has 007, Everything or Nothing for PS2. Then it also has Assassin's Creed, just the second disc for Xbox 360. So honestly, I guess we just bought this for the James Bond game. Now, you know, if you have watched some of the videos on my channel, I have love for handhelds, for you know, accessories, peripherals, guitar controllers and whatnot, and Wii Fit boards. So I did buy another Wii Fit board. Um, this one is in a box, so it is a very tattered box and it's kind of loose in the box. However, I bought this for two reasons. One, the battery pack looked great. Two, it's actually a Wii Fit Plus, which I didn't know they made Wii Fit Plus. So it's kind of cool. I want to play around with it, see what the extra features is. But it also came with a complete Wii controller with a nunchuck inside of it. And it was only 505. So pretty much I paid like 250 for the board and then 250 for the controller. It was kind of a no brainer, honestly. So, so it jumped on that. We did also get two other PS2 games that I totally forgot. One was Gallop Racer 2006. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember buying this game at all. But we did also get Reservoir Dogs, which is one of my favorite movies, and I had no idea they made a game out of it, so I might test this game out. And by test this game out, I mean I might play it before we sell it. And they both have the manual. They're actually in great condition. That's probably why we bought Gallop Racer. And then the very last thing, this was kind of like a birthday present to myself. It is just this absolutely ridiculous Intech action board. It's a third-party Wii Fit board. It's orange and green. It just looks like a giant Lego to me, and it's just hilarious. It was $6.26. It's probably the most I've ever spent 
recommend on like a fitness board and I've never bought a third party one. I didn't even know they made them. I feel like this probably came from CVS or something, but honestly, I don't care. I've been looking at it at my local thrift store for quite a while and everybody always passes it up. Even on the days where everything is half off, no one would ever buy it. So on my birthday, I decided to treat myself and I went and spent the 626 on this. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing working because I'm pretty sure the batteries are really corroded in it, but it just, it just made me happy. I mean, look at this ugly thing. How great is this? Oh, somebody's feet were on this. How great is this? And that is it for today's completely random haul. I bought the most random things, but I'm really excited about that orange fit board and I am really excited to go wash my hands after touching it because I always forget people's feet are on those. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my link tree. It has a link to my main channel. It has links to both my eBay storefront and my Macari storefront where I sell some of these things and some other things that I find that I just think are cool and weird. So you can check all that stuff out in the link tree below. I will see you in the next one. Laters. Bye!